What is up you guys? Welcome back to another one. If you are new to the channel, I am Gold Pony. I do new car truck SUV reviews on YouTube and today we are in the brand new 2024 Chevy Malibu courtesy of Sioka Chevrolet in York, PA. For more information on their inventory, please feel free to check out the link in the description box below. So we are in the Malibu today because this is a good looking American sedan in my opinion and there is a new color for the 2024 model year as well. So ultimately in this video, we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking, steering feel, ride quality, sound system, exhaust clip, all that fun stuff. So having said all of that, what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing. And so as you can imagine, there are several different trim levels for the 2024 Malibu. First one being the LS starting at $26,195, which is a very modest $100 bump from the 2023 model year. What I've been seeing is it's typically a lot more than that. So that is pretty cool. RS, which is the trim we are in today, starting at $27,095, one LT for $29,195. And lastly, the two LT going for $32,595. But regardless of trim level that you go with, the power plant on the Malibu is going to be the same. Powering the Beast is a 1.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder, putting out 163 horsepower at 5,700 RPM, 184 pound feet of torque coming in at 25 100 RPM, power being sent to the front wheels through a CVT, 0 to 60 time coming in at approximately 7.8 seconds, with MPG numbers coming in at 29 in the city, 36 on the highway, taking regular unleaded fuel. And so now having got all of that out of the way, what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and find a straightaway. Let's put the Malibu here to the test and let's see how quickly we can get our new 2024 Malibu here up to speed. All right, found our straightaway in three, two, one, go. Sliding a little bit, <laughs> it's wet out. <laughs> eh, there's nothing wrong with that. You're not gonna have any issues of you go onto the highway. It's not the quickest thing in the world, but it'll certainly get the job done. I'll just put it that way. But anyways, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important as we are pulling up to this red light right now. As far as uh, 60 zero stopping distance goes, it comes in at 127 feet. And uh, of course, four wheel ventilated disc brakes do come standard. As far as braking feel goes, it, it's a little bit on the softer side of things. It's not a super firm braking feel, but it'll certainly get the job done. So again, you're not gonna have any issues there. Touching on suspension and handling, up front you're gonna get a McPherson strut front suspension. In the back, four link rear suspension, front and rear stabilizer bars as far as ride quality goes it, you do tend to feel a little bit more off the road than it typically used to feeling in sedans but again it's not something that would personally bother me i'll just put it that way as far as steering feel goes that's actually really nice it, it's not a super firm steering feel but it does kind of lean on the heavier side of things so it does instantly point you in the direction that you want to go so in terms of steering feel i actually really like it so no issues there as far as cabin noise goes as we're going like 10 miles per hour turning into this turn right here it's not bad um, <laughs> going 10 miles per hour, but I'll tell you what, I'll let you guys be the judge of that. I'm going 40 miles per hour right now. There is a little bit of road noise, I will say that, but as far as wind noise goes, it's almost non-existent and it is pretty windy today and uh, getting a little bit of rain noise too because it's been raining pretty good, but yeah, there's a little bit of road noise, but it's not too bad. Touching our rear visibility, I can see 100% perfectly fine out the back, so you are definitely not going to have any issues with rear visibility on the Malibu, but that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review, you guys. Let's go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2024 Chevy Malibu. All right, and so here she is, you guys. The new 2024 Chevy Malibu finished in Summit White. In case you were curious of the exact exterior color name that we had on this one here today. But as always, let's go ahead and start with where the Malibu is made. Taking a look at the VIN, first character is the number one, indicating that the new Malibu is built and assembled in the US as it should be. But like I said at the beginning of the video, there is a new color for the 2024 model year. In case you were curious what that color name is, that is Lakeshore Blue Metallic. So if you want the latest and greatest, that's gonna be the one to go for. But up front, you will find halogen headlights for the LS, RS, and 1LT trim levels. You will get LED daytime running lights for the 1LT and 2LT trim levels though. LED headlights though, coming with the 2LT, get the automatic feature with that. Automatic high beams though, also standard on every single trim level across the board. So you gotta love that if you have your high beams on at night, senses a vehicle coming in the opposite direction, it's gonna automatically dim them back to low beams. Then when the vehicle is gone, it's gonna automatically bounce it back up to high beams for you there. So very convenient feature, gotta love that one. Black front grille with chrome surrounds then coming with the RS trim level 
that we have today. And I love the blacked out emblem. I think that looks dang good with the front grille and all the other black accents as well. But anyways, that pretty much rounds out the front end. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the side. All right, so we're now making our way to the side of the Malibu here. Chrome window surrounds do come standard. Malibu lettering found on those front doors is either gonna be finished in chrome or the gloss black look that we have with us here today. Power adjustable body colored side mirrors do come standard for all trim levels across the board. And they will actually be heated side mirrors for the 1LT and 2LT trim levels. Then taking a look down at the wheel setup, 16 inch aluminum alloys for the LS. 18 inch aluminum alloys for the RS, 17 inch aluminum alloys for the 1LT, and then 19 inch aluminum alloys for the 2LT. So literally you have a different wheel size for each trim level that is available from the Malibu. So that's pretty cool. But anyways, that pretty much rounds out the side profile. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the back. All right, so now since we are around to the back of the Malibu, all the way up top, you will find a body colored shark fin antenna. Just below that, a center high mount stop lamp. Love seeing that. Gotta love that body colored rear spoiler back there as well. I think that looks pretty darn good. LED taillights are going to come on the 2LT trim level only then. You do get trim level badging back there found on the trunk as well. And then just below it all, this is a pretty cool look, dual exhaust outlets with chrome tips, with polished tips, I should say for the RS. That looks so dang good back there so many manufacturers are still tucking away their exhaust and i'm not a big fan of that but i love this so having said that i do believe you guys know what we have to do next here as always here is that exhaust clip Alright, so now since we are around to the back of the Malibu, when it comes to opening that rear trunk, there is going to be a button on the key fob, but there is a button on the trunk itself as well. But once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 15.7 cubic feet. That's actually a good bit for a sedan. If that was not enough space though, there is a 60-40 split, meaning the rear seats do fold down for quite a bit of extra space then if you needed it. There are some tie down anchors back there. There is cargo lighting as well. And if you were to lift up underneath of that cargo floor, you will find a spare tire, which I was very happy to see. So then making our way to the rear legroom, that is going to come in at 38.1 inches for reference i'm an even six feet tall this is how much space i had in that second row rear ventilation is going to come standard on the 1lt and 2lt trim levels only rear center armrest with cup holders once again the 1lt and the 2lt usb charging port for the 2lt trim level only and then a 12 volt power outlet is going to come standard for all trim levels across the board then make your way up to the front seats cloth seating for the ls rs and 1lt trims leather seating them for the 2lt Manually adjustable front seats for the LS and the 1LT. Power adjustable driver seat for the 2LT and actually our RS trim level that we have with us here today. Heated front seats then for the 1LT and 2LT and the ventilated front seats for the 2LT. But overall, as far as seat comfort goes, honestly, it was perfectly fine for me in my short little test drive here today. So no issues with the seat comfort. Then taking a look at the steering wheel, it is tilt and telescoping. It is going to be leather wrapped for the RS and 2LT trim levels and then heated for the 2LT trim. But 10 and 2 crips are perfectly fine. I actually love the leather steering wheel that we had on this one. But then make our way to the startup. Let me start by showing you guys the key here. You got your Chevy logo on the one side. When you flip it over, lock, unlock the button to pop the trunk and that circular button is your remote start, which by the way comes standard for every single trim level across the board. So that's pretty cool. But it is also keyless entry with a push button start for all trims across the board. So all I'm going to do here is simply put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button located just to the right of the gauge cluster. Now let's go ahead and make our way to overall interior quality. If you wanted a dual pane panoramic sunroof that is optional on the 1LT and 2LT trims, ambient lighting for the 2LT trim level, garage door openers is going to be optional on all trim levels. We don't have that one today unfortunately. Wireless phone charger for the 2LT trim level. Just in front of the shifter you got a little bit of rubberized storage just to the right of the shifter. That's where you're going to find your cup holders. And I think my favorite interior access on the Malibu, if I were to pick one, would be this cool texturized kind of cloth pattern found just above the passenger side glove box. It continues around just surrounding the uh, push button start as well and also onto the doors. It's basically the seat material, but pushed onto the doors and the interior as well. So I thought that was a pretty cool touch. I love texturized finishes like that. So it's something different than I'm not used to seeing. So I guess that's why I'm a fan of it. So front side side curtain airbags do come standard driver and passenger knee 
airbags as well. In the back, you're going to have latch, aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system, but also coming standard. Automatic emergency braking, a following distance indicator, forward collision alert, lane keep assist, lane departure warning, and there is a driver confidence package that goes for $595 that's going to add to that rear parking sensors, rear cross traffic alert, and lane change alert with side blind zone alert then as well. So overall, when it comes to my final thoughts here of the Malibu, this is a very good looking American sedan. So I've said that every single time I've reviewed the Malibu, I still really like the looks of it. It's a good looking car. I do love the wireless connectivity as well, like the wireless Android Auto Apple CarPlay. That's something that you don't always find standard on other vehicles out there. So that was pretty cool to see too. So that was my two positives. Now let me throw my two negatives real quick or needs improvement or whatever you want to call it. LED headlights now come standard on things like a base Corolla or a base Civic. So they certainly should be standard on a base Malibu as well. And the other thing is I think an all wheel drive option would be pretty darn cool in the Malibu because that's definitely something I look for because it does tend to snow where I live in PA here. So I don't know, there's other sedans in this class that actually do offer all wheel drive. So Chevy, if you're watching this, add all wheel drive to the Malibu because this is a really good looking car and I want it to be perfect. But anyways, let me know what you guys think of the Malibu in the comment section below. That is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you want to see what's coming next on the channel. Before it gets to YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews, because that is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.